Native plants are the foundation for any wildlife habitat. They provide food, places to raise young, and shelter. Last week, we talked about how many animals don't just eat anything. This week, I am going to challenge you to plant at least one native plant in your yard. But before we get started, there are some things you have to consider. Plants don't just grow anywhere. This video is going to teach you those things and how to maximize success. The first thing you're gonna do is investigate your yard and identify areas where you are interested in planting native plants. I want you to bring a camera with you and take pictures of those areas at least three times a day, in the morning, in the early afternoon, and the late afternoon. This will help you gauge how sunny or shady the area is native plants have adapted within their native environment, some plants have adapted to more sunny areas or more shady areas. These adaptations help them avoid competition with other species. In addition, I want you to pay attention to the soil. And this is a great time to use your observation skill of touch that we talked about in earlier videos. Note the weather conditions. Has it been rainy? If so, is the soil really moist or wet? But if it's been raining and it's drier, this indicates it's a drier area of your yard. So make key recordings about this area. Is it mostly sunny or shady? Is it mostly dry or wet? This will help you to decide which plants to grow because those adapted for those soil and weather conditions will grow the best there. These factors are important to consider because plants have evolved to grow under certain conditions. What this means is if a plant has adapted to wet and shady conditions, it's not gonna grow in dry and sunny conditions. It will die. So you wanna make sure you understand the local environment before you choose your plant. Let's go over some great places that you might overlook for native plants. And you'll see that native plants are a great solution to some problem areas in your yard. A great place to put native plants is areas of your yard that might be considered problematic or difficult. For example, maybe there's an area that is really wet and it pools with water. This is a great area to plant native plants that have adapted to wet environments and their long roots will soak up and hold the water. Maybe there's a weird spot in your area that is difficult to mow. This is a great place to put native plants so you don't have to worry about it. Maybe you've been trying to grow grass and there's a spot in your yard that hasn't been growing grass. This is a great place for native plants. But first, you must understand the conditions. You can see there's a lot of moss growing in this area of my yard. It's been difficult to grow grass here. This would be a great place for some native plants. Then I want you to think about what you want to attract. Animals like birds, butterflies, certain kinds of insects. Make a list of the species that you're most interested in. You can pick a group such as bees. Here in Illinois, we have over 500 species, or you can be very specific and choose a species, maybe the Eastern Bluebird. Then I want you to just think of like, what colors do you like? Or what kind of flowers do you like? What would you love to see more of in your backyard? Do you like flowers that look more like roses? Or do you like flowers that look more like sunflowers. Another great area you can put native plants are areas called soft landings. These are areas underneath trees. As larvae or young insects emerge and drop from the trees, they need a soft space to land. You're also going to have to identify where you want to get your native plants from. When I first started planting native, I went to Home Depot and looked for native plants and I even asked for help but they didn't know what I was talking about. The best way is to just search online for a native plant nursery nearby. You can also check with local conservation nonprofits. A lot of times they have native plant sales. Once you start subscribing to these newsletters and get in the loop, you will see native plant sales pop up all the time at different places. Just search native plant sale near me. This is a town that is close to me. Here they provide all sorts of information about the plants. Another great resource is Garden for Wildlife by the National Wildlife Federation. You can see that you can order by different kinds of wildlife you want to attract or different kinds of habitat. This would be for shadier areas. This is also a great resource for picking out what kind of native plant you want and they give you all sorts of options. If you want to attract certain kinds of butterflies, you can click on find butterflies. They will give you a list of different species. Let's try a Luna moth. 
These are all the different plants that you could plant to attract luna moths. And then finally, you can always plant in a container. Animals like insects will still visit and pollinate your plant. They don't care if it's in the ground or not. So no matter where you are, a container is an option for you. In our next video, we are going to talk about providing food for wildlife in your yard, but it's not what you think. And native plants, once again, have a big role in this. We're gonna create a food chain and a food web with our backyard habitat. This video is part of my Wildlife Biology for Kids Club program. You will get the accompanying downloadable activities. Take them into your backyard, into your neighborhood, and use them to explore nature together. You'll also get access to a community of like-minded individuals to share your findings and get inspired by what others discover. Interact with me and there will be exclusive content. Check out the description below for the enrollment link. You can enroll at any time. These activities are meant to be fun, easy, and intentional to get you and your child outside discovering nature, fostering their curiosity, and connecting together. Make sure you subscribe so that you get the notification when the next video is out.